Now let's get up to speed with Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds! Welcome to the Kaiba Dome! Let's ride! Junk Warrior, send him to the scrap heap! Hmm, it's my turn now! Feel the power of my Red Dragon Arch Fiend! You're gonna regret ever coming here, you say, cause I'm gonna beat you with your own card! What is that? you to play tricks with me. I activate a speed spell. End of storm! What are you thinking? We gotta stop! The mighty beast has emerged from its slumber. Where did this come from? Jack, what's going on? You are in violation of code 36B. We are placing you under arrest. Do not try to run. We have you surrounded. Oh man, I got no escape. But even if I did manage to get away, I still don't know what that thing on my arm was. Next, you say Fudo? Look at him, he's a boy. What's so bad about this kid? Let's check out the complaint. Mr. You say Fudo. Turbo dueling without a license, blah blah, malicious mischief, blah de blah blah. Entering the limits of New Domino City without a permit? Hmm. Well now, we can't have that, can we? So here's a little tracking die. Is it supposed to tickle? It's supposed to make sure that we can keep an eye on you. Now, to discuss punishment. I believe a few months in the facility should do it. All aboard! Not to worry, young man. Think of it as a sort of summer camp. Lots of time to yourself, arts and crafts, colorful characters. Ah! After your sentence, <clears throat> I mean vacation, is over, you're free to go back to the satellite. As long as you never duel or set foot in New Domino City again. Hey, kid! How you doing? I'm sure you heard of me, young fella. Name's Yanagi. Adventure's my name, and famous relics are my game. Put her there. Guess you're not into shaking hands. Well, that's all right. Wait a second. I never forget a face. You were at the Kaiba Dome. I saw sector security take you away. So was it you who made all the power in the city go out? And that monster. Did you cause that red dragon to appear as well? Because if you did, not bad. I mean, that was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. You saw that? And I see it. The whole city saw that dragon. Please tell me where you got it. East India, the South American pyramids, lost caves. so much. I can't remember. Mina, what happened to me last night? What do you mean, Mr. Atlas? Are you saying that you don't remember? You were in the Kaiba Dome. You had a duel with a satellite named Yusei. It was amazing. You had him on the ropes, and then he countered, and you countered, and then the power outage saved you from losing. Save me from what? That's impossible. I had him right where I wanted him. Uh, uh, uh. 
Um, of course you did. Please don't be angry, Mr. Atlas. Right. Uh, wait, where are you headed off to? Mr. Goodwin told me you should be resting. You see, when Jack and Yusei's dragons attacked each other, there was a huge burst of the ultimate energy I was talking about. I call it energy. Get it? It rhymes with energy, and the D is for dueling, so you get the, um, idea. Whatever we call it, Zigzigs, this power flux was apparently strong enough to awaken the ancient and mystical powers of the Crimson Dragon. The Crimson Dragon! <laughs> but its energy is immeasurable! We have no idea what would happen should all of its powers be unleashed! Earthquakes, tornadoes, cataclysmic catastrophes, complete generator meltdown! <laughs> we lost the signal right here. The dragon overloaded the power grid. Excellent. So it seems the power created by its summoning is greater than we ever imagined. <laughs> Welcome to the facility, your home away from home. A warm bed, three square meals a day, everything the public misprint could want. <laughs> Hurry up! Uh. Identification number G2MA2-88. Illegal entry to New Domino City. Ha! Bet you wish you stayed in the satellite now. Now listen up, the rules are simple. No chewing gum, no fighting, and no dueling. Also, Probably don't want to get too close to these bars. Some of these guys bite. Now, as long as you stay quiet and follow those directions, you should be safe. All right, here are your new rooms. I hope the water-stained battleship gray is to your liking. Home <laughs> sweet home. Yanagi's been here a few times before, as you can tell. Personally, I think the food's finally gotten to him. A hey, guard. What do you want? Thought I'd throw a little welcome party for my new neighbors. You know, teach them the ropes, make sure they stay in line. Good luck. New guy looks like trouble. <laughs> ah, great to be back. You know, you're so much nicer than my last roommate. What's a guy like you doing here? Me? I collect cards. Everyone does that. Not quite! See, mine are illegal magic relics. They're from ancient civilizations. That sounds pretty cool. Wish I could see some. Ta-da! Look here! And here! Like I said, I've been stuck here so many times, I learned how to sneak in my entire deck past the guards. And it's a good thing I did. Why? We can't duel. You got a lot to learn, Sonny. Dueling is the only way to stay safe, and you'll learn that lesson soon enough. But as long as we got these cards, we're set. Okay. <laughs> Wait, the director's in a meeting. He can't be disturbed. Look at this. The energy increased when both dragons were out. But it only went into overdrive when they attacked each other. Very interesting. We must find out why these two beasts were able to awaken the Crimson Dragon. <sighs> hmm. uh, I'm sorry, Director. Jack. <gasps> That's my duel! Did these two peons record what happened last night? Calm down, Jack. You broke a dozen laws last night. You're lucky that your little match didn't end up on the news. It's our job to protect you, Jack, so we need to know what happened. So then, please help all of us help you tell us about the Crimson Dragon. Sure, like what, Goodwing? I know. How about this? Ugh. This started to burn! You should be proud. It's the Crimson Dragon's mark. It's a symbol of power. You are one what? of the rare few known as a signer. So what? This sign indicates that you are destined for great things. Yeah? Well, I already knew I was destined for greatness. So tell me, why did you say have one as well? What was that? That satellite had the sign as well? Didn't your cameras pick it up? Jack, signs mean far more than you know. You have to be sure that you say had one. So what if he had one? You say he's not destined for anything but minimum wage. Plus, he didn't have one in the satellite, so it must be a fake. Huh? What was that on the video? 
Play it back for me. Before this. There! Come on, come on! I want that image enlarged. Uh, of course! Ah! That card! That's... that's Meteor Stream! You are correct as usual. And you should be pleased that the power went out. Otherwise, your unbeaten streak would have come to an end. If you don't believe me, see for yourself. I activate a speed spell! End of storm! Don't look so depressed, Jack. I guess your friend Yusei learned some new tricks. You probably thought your combo would give you back Stardust, but you opened the door for a counterattack. It's an easy mistake. A mistake? You had better watch what you say in front of me, you miserable purple-haired little freak! I only speak the truth. I knew what I was doing all along. How many times must I tell you you say he's just a loser? I'm the champ, and I'm the one who's gone undefeated in New Domino City. Then why doesn't our dear champion know what happens when you say's media stream counters your intended move? You lose the match. But I still had 900 life points after my combo, and his media stream was only going to take away all of them. There was nothing I could do. I actually lost to him. Impossible. Jack, last night never happened. No one outside this room knows this video exists. But I know, Goodwin. I know what happened last night, and I'm gonna settle some unfinished business. Where, as you say, I have to duel him again. I'm afraid that's a little tricky right now. You say he's a satellite. Therefore, he's been taken to the facility. And I'm afraid he won't be leaving for quite some time. But don't worry, Jack. We hear that he's being made to feel right at home. I'm going. The facility? If this is your idea of a joke, I'm not laughing, Jack. Don't throw away all that we've worked for just to prove that you're the best against him. Your sign, Jack. It is your destiny. <laughs> Say hello, newbie, to my duel stadium. Hope you know how to duel. Ready? You ready, guys? Let's see what he's made of. <laughs> now let me tell you how things are gonna work around here. First day in, everyone duels. You duel good, you get respect. But, don't get no ideas, cause I'm the best. <laughs> of course you're the best, you're Bo Tanner! He's a pro, and I'm your biggest fan! Can I have an autograph, please? Sure, but I only write in black and blue. Oh man, the old guy had that coming. Tanner sure does hate it when anybody brings up his past. Congrats! You got your first opponent, and it's yours truly. And I'm gonna mop the floor with that big head of yours. And cause you got no deck, looks like you're dueling with a reject one we put together. <laughs> Actually, I smuggled in my own deck, Tanner, and it's the greatest deck ever made. Ah. I call it my treasure deck, and it's packed relics, fossils, antiques, See? 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 It's all here! A treasure deck? How'd he get that? <laughs> Either way, they won't help you, Grandpa. Where's your deck? Not with me. <laughs> After I'm through with Gramps over here, I'll rustle up some cards for you. And then I'll teach you a thing or two about dueling in the facility. And you better believe it'll be a lesson you'll never forget. <sighs> okay, let's everyone calm down. I've been here before, and I know how the rules are supposed to work. If I win, then, well, I'm in charge. Like that would ever happen! Well, since you're so confident, let's get this tour started so I can end it! Woohoo! This is like a dream come true, Tanner! Dueling my hero! Just go! Be careful, Tanner. After all, if his deck's for real, then you just might have a fight on your hands. <laughs> like his treasure deck is real. Don't make me laugh. Oh, they're real. I promise. And they're gonna put me in charge of this place! Grandpa! Age before beauty! 
<laughs> I get it. I'm first. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, a priceless artifact. I got this one during my last amazing adventure. I befriended an ancient tribe of Aztec warriors who led me to their secret forbidden temple, where I found... Save the stories for bedtime, Grandpa, and make your move. Where I found this! The ancient relic known as the Crystal Skull! Crystal Skull is a monster card that deals 1,000 points of damage to its controller when it is summoned. <laughs> so who's laughing now, Tanner? You didn't read the fine print, Gramps. Looks like his treasure has its own curse. He lost life points just for summoning it. <sighs> but of course, the curse proves that it's no fake. The Aztecs promised me it was real. And what else did they promise you? Montezuma's revenge? <laughs> Hey, Grandpa, I got an ancient artifact for you. It's your wardrobe. If there's one thing the ancient Aztecs didn't give you, it was a mirror. <laughs> oh, yeah, not to mention deodorant. You think you're funny? Just you wait. The ancient and mystical powers of the Crystal Skull will stop you laughing in your tracks. Okay, Gramps, story time's over. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's my turn. And I'm starting out with this. My spell card cost down. Cost Down is a spell card that downgrades all the monsters in your hand by two levels until the end of your turn. Huh? And why'd you do that? Because <laughs> you're a funny guy, Grandpa, and I want the chance to embarrass you even more. And this guy should keep the misery coming. I summon Ushioni, and he's worse than anyone you might run into here. <laughs> scared, Grandpa. And you should be, because my Ushioni is about to turn your crystal skull into an Aztec ruin. Ushioni, take out that ancient relic. You can't! The crystal skull is a priceless artifact! you've just done? I just destroyed a priceless artifact, Gramps. Guess what? Now it really is ancient history. Your turn. Well, let's see what other treasures I have for you. <laughs> Watch this. Ah! <laughs> this was a rare find indeed. <sighs> During my adventures in India, I discovered this Ashoka pillar in the lost capital of the ancient Maurya Empire. Amazing. Looks more like a giant lamppost to me. Yeah, that don't seem so special. Well, it is. See, the Ashoka Pillar is a source of great strength to the Maurya culture. It's over a millennia old, and no one knows quite how it was created. I have my suspicions. Hey, Grandpa, give the college lecture a break. They tried to teach me that stuff back at the re-education center. And I flunked it a dozen times. I'd be happy to tutor you in all the relevant texts. For instance, this spirit mask card is a treasured artifact from an African tribe. <laughs> all that's good for is Halloween. But it has vast supernatural powers. Just wait till next turn. Don't think so. <laughs> I've had enough of Aztec this, Ashoka that, and African whatever. So I think I'll end this lecture of yours and start up one of my own. See, I rule this place, and it's time you losers learned a lesson in respect. Now let's get this class started. Uh-oh. I summon giant Ushioni! <laughs> hey, Grandpa! You might want to close your eyes, unless you want to see your pillar get pulverized. <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> but wait, guys. Gramps wasn't lying about that pillar's strength. 
because as soon as it gets destroyed, it delivers 2,000 points of damage to its owner! <laughs> and let's not forget your supernatural spirit mask! It went right to the graveyard, and that means you take one card from your hand and throw it in afterwards to keep it company! <sighs> oh, yeah... <laughs> Tanner's right. He should have saved that mask for some masquerade ball. <sighs> if you want to see some real magic, check out Ushi's special ability. If he destroys a monster in battle, he can attack you all over again. <laughs> nah, giant Ushioni, attack! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Class dismissed. You may have been here before, Grandpa, but you never dueled with the likes of me. Since you lost, that means I'm still in charge of this place. Now get out of here and leave your precious treasures with me. <laughs> Please let me keep my deck. I'm just an old man, Mr. Tanner. I've spent my entire life collecting all these rare cards. These cards are all I have left! You understand? They're like my children! These cards are so special and so delicate that they require proper supervision! I've climbed Mount Everest, I've survived the Saharan heat, I've touched the North and South Poles, and in all these amazing travels, there's nothing as precious as these cards! Just open your heart and let me keep them safe and sound! Ah! You can't do this! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you just earned yourself a duel. Can I borrow your cards? I can see the true value of your treasure deck. What? Huh? So you think this treasure deck is worthless? Then prove it, Tanner. Duel you? With that deck? Please, I want a challenge. And you'll get one. You said we duel here for respect. I think it's about time you learn what that really means. <laughs> <laughs>